Vengeance. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Isn't this a lovely sight? Um, we're very pleased to have you all. Thank you for coming to this former residence of the ambassadors that we currently use as the cultural center and public diplomacy center. This was a video of our democracy fragment um, of a series, larger series of videos that we're screening these days before our um, film series. So thank you for watching this. And it's a preview to what we're going to talk about. And I think it makes sense and it's coherent with the theme of tonight. So this is a very special event that we're very proud to present in collaboration with the University of Maryland. Um, I'd like to thank Australia Lavo who's leading this project uh, and praising for the work for the work he has done on this uh, subject of the exile. Um, this is it's very difficult to explain and I hand it over to an ice later, but it makes part of the center that is taking place today and will continue tomorrow on the exile, uh, of which we're proud supporters. I'm very glad to have here some of the experts that Jose Maria has gathered, uh, which are the high profile uh, scholars of the field. Um, he did this 20 years ago, and he's published a book on the subject, and we are supporting it because of the 18th anniversary of the um, Spanish Republican exile at the end of the war in 1939. So there's been a lot of events put together by our government, by different institutions in collaboration with, with France and Mexico to pay tribute to those exiles that we lost. And that contributed a lot to other societies in other countries, and also here in the US. Fewer than in other countries, but there was a, a group, a large group of intellectuals and, and other people. Um, and also this is part of a film series, um, because as you know, we're screening a, a film today, a very special film called Refuge and Platon by Jean-Paul Refus, with live music. And it makes part of a larger series of nine films put together by um, the University of Maryland, so coordinated by Jose Maria, by us, and, well I should say first the others, the Embassy of Mexico, the Embassy of France, and us. You still have coming up, I think, four more tonight, right? So you should come because there are talks, Q&As afterwards, and they're very interesting. We have two here, Del Tenebros by Pilar Miró, and Soldados de Salamina by David Grua. Uh, you can look it up, up in our website, and of course, there's one at the University of Maryland and at the Next Door Institute of Mexico. So uh, now I'm going to hand it over to Jose Maria and then to Anais, uh, so we can speak about the project is very special project. Thank you all. Enjoy. Well, thank you, Mary. I just want to be very brief and uh, welcome you all to this uh, leg of the first day of this uh, symposium, keeping the Spanish Republic in 1939 and alive in our hearts. Uh, this is an extremely uh, very special occasion, as Mike has said because this uh, happened uh, 80 years ago and so the involvement of these exiles both in the United States and Maryland has not been well studied. Uh, we are privileged at the University of Maryland to have the most known and cherished of them all, the 1956 uh, Nobel Prize for Literature Laureate, Juan Ramón Jiménez, who in fact lived just the present year in Dorchester House about 75 years ago. So this was a place to have um, this program, which we are going to be talking about in a most uh, uh, difficult moment of these uh, Spanish refugees. When they came into France, half a million of them, and they were welcomed by a democracy into a concentration camp, so some of France and of other places, and eventually some of them ended up in the terrible Nazi camps of uh, House of the Earth's um, the film that you want to go to see, and I will go on to that, um, I'll let the uh, Anais and the uh, EMA and some of the guests take on this project, will address um, part of uh, this problem. I just want to invite you to the second leg tomorrow at the University of Maryland, uh, sorry, at 9 a.m. in the language house of uh, St. Mary's Hall, in the Department of Sanchez, Provides and School of Public Peace and Literature and Cultures. 
you know, the full program. You're invited there for a second very challenging day of uh, uh, really uh, wonderful uh, uh, experts talking about the, uh, this event. And then at 7.30, I want you to invite you to, and you should register to the Mexican Cultural Institute next door. We will have a wonderful musical program, which is also going to be commemorating the presence of these exiles in, uh, in the USA. Uh, poetry uh, put by music by a wonderful uh, uh, Spanish director, Carlos Jose Martinez uh, Fernandez, and uh, at the piano music with the Gauna and uh, voice here, the Semanes, who's going to be presenting this uh, talk to you. So, welcome all. Uh, thank you again uh, to the control uh, office of the Spanish Embassy that has uh, made all of this uh, partially possible, and I'm sure you will.
conductor Forrest Glass, who's leading us, and Joshua Hartman, as well as some of our other members. So please uh, check us out online if you're moved by what you see. Uh, we are um, traveling and coming from afar, and any uh, help is well uh, appreciated and valued. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to shut up now. Uh, and I hope you very, very much enjoy what is uh, a secret gem. Thank you. The 
troops are immediately disarmed. One hundred and fifty cannon, which composed all the Republican artillery, which for long months had stood up to the 1,200 Italian and German batteries, finally passed. The Republican army, refusing even in defeat to capitulate to the forces of the nation, successfully brought all of its material, trucks, tanks, Republicans held for two days against the fascists, 
while the exodus was completed. Here, we fill the interior of the station, now a camp containing 20,000 refugees. Here, the dining hall, which has been reconverted into an infirmary. An auto train. Civilians.
between the mountains and the sea are situated the two infamous camps of Argelès and saint cyprien which today still contain 140,000 and originally enclosed 200,000 men. The road to Argelès. Here, the marshlands which surround the camp.
cases of scabies among the children who have received no medical care in the last two months. Scabies, a filthy disease which simple hygiene has banished everywhere except where rain poverty prevails. Their bodies are literally alive for parasites. Thank you. 